Apple has a secret going on with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. They haven't mentioned it on the website nor the keynote. You can exceed up to 27 watts of fast charging. Now, most definitely, I will do a charge test comparing two iPhone 13 Pro Maxes, testing out the 20 watt and a 30 watt to see which one is going to charge faster. But for now, I have to kill off two 13 Pro Maxes, which if you guys watch my drain test, you guys know it takes basically like 10 hours to kill, which is nuts. But for the time being, I picked up this. This is a power tester. So it's gonna actually show you how many watts that's going from the power adapter to the iPhone. And you can get a perfect idea on how many watts that's going directly to the iPhone. And that's the whole point of this video, just going off of which power adapter you should buy. Me personally, I pick up the Anchor one. The Anchor one is always an awesome choice, but you can't go wrong with the Apple one either. I'll throw a link in the description to every single power adapter and even the wire and cable that I use. I will be using a lightning to type C cable included inside the iPhone 13 box. Also, shout out to Siobhan. He released some brand new wallpapers. This one here is called Spine. Absolutely love the all black going alongside with the graphite. In my Sierra Blue, I have this, this blue and this kind of, yeah, this is, this is clean. So I throw a link in the description, Spine by Siobhan Salmon. And okay, I have a power extension cable plugged up to my outlet. I have the tester itself, and for good measures, I'm gonna test out the 13 Pro alongside the 13 Pro Max. So I have an official Type-C to Lightning. So I'm gonna plug the anchor to the outlet. Type-C plugs into the tester, which we're gonna go in. So that's gonna power up. Sometimes this thing could get a little finicky. You gotta probably twist this around. And then the output, Plug it into your phone. So now it's going to give you an idea. It's going to charge up the phone. There we go. So it's charging up and it's going to give you an idea on the reading. So this is the anchor 20 watt power adapter and it starts off slow and then it's going to very quickly ramp up. So pay attention to the wattage right there. So I would give it like a minute or two and then it's going to start getting into 18 watts, 15 watts. But it's going to stay around the 19, go up, maybe go down a little bit. And you also see the voltage and the amps. And it's charging my iPhone 13 Pro Max with no problems. Now, I could do the same thing on the standard 13 Pro. So as soon as I unplug it, it shuts down. So I'm able to get 19 watts, which is fair. Now, for 13 Pro, should get relatively the same. And it's actually charging up faster. Well, mm, it went down for a little bit and then, okay. Yeah. And, yeah, and just, just kind of stays around that, that moment. So that's the anchor. That just shows you anchor is no BS. You're getting 20 watts of a size of a 5 watt power adapter from Apple. That's incredible. All right, let me clear this up a little bit. And don't worry, guys. This is completely soft. This is leather. This is leather. So you have nothing to worry about. Now MagSafe is a tricky one because if you purchase it for $40, it doesn't include the power plug. You have to provide this additionally. So this is a 20 watt power adapter from Apple. We're gonna plug the 20 watt into the tester, plug it into the wall outlet, and then the MagSafe Type-C out. And then we're gonna attach it right on the back of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now be mindful MagSafe is not the fastest way to charge your iPhone, but nonetheless, this could be the best option if you want to preserve battery health. So it's not charging your phone too fast, where it's heating up the phone fast, but at the same time, it's fast enough than uh, a fast wireless charger. So getting ready to hit 10 watts. MagSafe, the maximum charge is about 15 watts. Okay, it's been about a minute. So I haven't exceed to 10 watts, which is kind of crazy. Cause I thought it would be 15, but maybe I gotta give it a little bit more time. Essentially, you're charging your 13 Pro Max at nine watts, a little, a little higher than nine watts with using the MagSafe. By the way, my battery percentage is on 65. So it's not at like 80% where it dramatically slows down the charge. Okay, let me test out the 13 Pro and we should get about the same reading, but let's find out. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's getting like about 10 watts. Okay, so it's 10 watts. What's battery percentage this is on? This is on 19. So I think your battery percentage plays a huge role. So if your phone is completely dead, it's gonna actually take as much watts. 
So just keep that in mind. Very interesting. If your battery percentage is high or at an adequate percent, it's not going to take as much power. So yeah, I know I've been really critical with MagSafe, but it's not bad. Once you put this on a nice stand, it's really neat. It's clean. All right, so for the love of science, I'm going to just test out the 20 watt, no MagSafe. So we're going to plug this into the output and starting off with the 13 Pro Max. Okay. So it's charging right up, 65%. Let's see what's the wattage looking like. So it starts off slow, but eventually it's going to start picking up. Whoa, I just saw the 15 watts. Okay, right there, 15 watts, 16 watts. Hold up now, 17 watts maybe? 17 watts. 18. Whoa, 19. This thing is ramping up. Can we use a full 20? Can we use a full 20? Ah, uh, not quite. Okay, so 19 watts. You guys see, I'm on maximum brightness. That's how I utilize my phone. So when I was doing that drain test, people say, oh, who use their phone in max brightness anyway? I do, okay? 19 watts, that's pretty good. And using the official 20 watt power adapter from Apple, it's pretty good. The one from Anchor was still cool. I'm sure we're going to get very similar results on the iPhone 13 Pro. And yeah, the 13 Pro just get right to it. So 19 right off the bat. And I think that's just because my battery percentage is low. But nonetheless, you're going to get that no problem here. As soon as I plug it in, I'm getting like almost 20 watts. So I'm getting the full speed here. Love this Sierra Blue. Um, this is a 30 watt power adapter. This is the one that I'm super excited for because we could very well see higher than 20 watts charging on the Pro Max model. And I want to see if that's a myth or if that's a bus. Okay. So 30 watt power adapter from Spigen. Charging up the 13 Pro Max. And let's see if we can exceed the 20 watt power yeah so it's fluctuating between 16 and 17 okay let's try out an official 30 watt power adapter type c from apple this is included with the m1 macbook air i was using my max a little bit to train the battery and let's see so 30 watts let's see if we can exceed the 27 watts I'm reading an article here and it turns out the regular Pro can go up to 23 watts of fast charging. Totally cannot wait to do this charge test to see is it even worth buying an official 30 watt power adapter from Apple or should you just stick to your 20 watt power adapter here. I'm just going to use a regular 13 and I'm going to see if we're going to get the same results. Now if, when I do this 30 watt versus 20 watt test, I'm only doing the 13 Pro Max. I'm just excluding the regular 13. I'm going to save this for the MagSafe versus fast wireless charging. So yeah, I have some things planned up, guys. So you guys don't want to miss any videos. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. But nonetheless, I'm getting just about 20 watts. And I guess throughout time, it's going to probably boost up to 21, 22. But the max it can hit is 23. So I like this little meter, though. This meter shows you exactly what's going on. Curiosity now, this is the official 96 watts. Now I'm really curious now to see how fast this is going to charge up. 24% on my iPhone 13, and we're getting about 20 watts. So same exact speed as the 30 watt. The iPhone is only taking what it needs, so it's not going to take the entire 96 watts. It's only taking exactly what it needs, and in this case, I'm getting 22 watts. Overnight charging, I either recommend MagSafe or the 5 watt power adapter just to maintain your battery health and to reduce the heat. Um, but if you want to charge your phone quickly, this is good. Now I'm dropping down to 17 watts. But stay tuned for the speed charge test on the Pro Max models and MagSafe versus fast wireless charging on the standard 13 Pro. Alright guys, until next time, have a simple day.